Hello, it's Hilary Farnworth and Theresa Lefort from Ransackers Association. Theresa is the Chair of Ransackers and I'm the Vice Chair of Ransackers. And we have a website at www.ransackersassociation.org. So, our organisation is about serious studying in later life. So, I'm going to ask Theresa a couple of questions and then we'll have a discussion. So Theresa, what benefits does going back to study have for people in later life, do you think? It has a, a very big um, benefit in the way that people do their life in the beginning. We had 700 people go through the project which started in 2004 mm -hmm. and went on to, to 2013 to 14. And of those 700 people, we've got a mass of information which we are coordinating at the moment into a paper to say all about the relevant benefits and expertise that came across. Um, myself, I went through the project because I wanted to go around the world and they <laughs> said well you can't go around the world on our money. I said but you misunderstood. I really wanted to manage, be able to manage that sort of project. So they took me on board and it, it, it was very good. It sort of um, increased your awareness of everything that I've been doing over the years. So we used to have ransacker courses, which unfortunately are not running now because of all these cuts in education, 40% cuts in our education in recent years. So ransackers has adapted to doing a lot of research. And we had a research project last year where we looked at the life-changing effects on some of our people who had studied. We interviewed 20 people. and. We're also very keen on lobbying because we're in quite a harsh situation now. So let's talk about what are we focusing on with our lobbying work, Teresa? Well, um, as I mentioned before, we need uh, a strategic aim. Mm. And um, most people who've come across us later after the t project's finished um, we're saying, when are you going to put the courses back on? <laughs> we need a millionaire. Really we really need to get a supporter and an organisation to help us with the coordination. And um, I'm a trade unionist earlier life, mm. and I really get worried about the fact that older people are being used as volunteers by um, some of the cuts. And at the same time, older people realise there's so much out there that needs to be helped. And I just feel like they need education to be able to do, to be doing those changes effectively. Mm. And um, stand up and be counted, if you like. Mm. Um, older people's daily lives does not consist of watching the telly <laughs> no, routine, uh, absolutely. even though that, that might be inclusive. Yes, and um, I read a figure the other day which said that by 2020 there are going to be 15 billion worth of older people volunteers in the UK. That's come from the Commission of Voluntary Sector on Ageing. And this is all older people working hard for society, doing things which previously perhaps some of it used to be paid. Some of these people are full-time volunteers, some are workers, part-time and then volunteer. So there are lots of issues where education um, is absolutely key to the older people um, for not just for leisure, but for being effective when they go to their meetings, their committees. And we've come across some times when you have to deal with bureaucracy, haven't we? Yes. Do you want to give a quick example of that? Well, uh, I can't do it off the top of my head, mm -hmm. usually. But there has been many times when um, older people seem to be bottom of the agenda. 
Mm. And when I was listening to some of the project uh, presentations today, and um, when they're talking about access to their data, I was thinking, yeah, but we're not involved in that data, even though you fill in the um, form. Yes, we're always filling surveys, yeah. aren't we? Yeah. Always. If you fill in the form, that doesn't really take account of our daily life. Mm. It doesn't tell you that um, this happened to A, B and C. For example, security at your home, yeah. um, getting things done when you need help. Repairs, gadgets. Yes. Yeah. Um, other things that are cropping up day to day. And when you live either on your own or in a unit, you haven't got anybody to talk to or contact. So what we're actually saying is that serious study and education, and in fact training, things that yeah. used to be called training, are absolutely crucial for successful later life. Yeah. In the UK, in the 21st century, um, we would like to see the opportunities really opened up because we are wasting a resource yeah. if we don't help older people to do yeah. the work and the volunteering and the successful living that they could do. Thank you.